Hey everybody, today I have one of the DC Designer Series by Amanda Connor. Do I have one traditional Harley Quinn, two spacesuit Harley Quinn, three superhero Harley Quinn, or holiday Harley Quinn? P.S. It's Merry Christmas, not Happy Holidays. We only freaking do the season's greetings during the Christmas season. We only do Happy Holidays during Christmas. No one says Happy Holidays during Easter. Besides, it's not even supposed to be Easter. It's supposed to be Resurrection Sunday. Nobody freaking says Happy Holidays during Mother's Day, Father's Day, Grandparents' Day, Siblings' Day, Memorial Day. Nobody says Happy Holidays during Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, Seriously. Alright. Alright. All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough of that. On my horror horse, right? Yeah. But seriously, think about it. No one says all these other holidays. Except for. Oh. Hmm. This is a weird way to unbox. Huh. Do we know what it is? I don't know. I don't know. We're fixing to find out. Oh, did you find out? Oh, did you find out? Oh, there's the back of it. Whoa. So, from the back of it, What's it look like it is? Hmm. Spacesuit Harley Quinn with, for some reason, a weird pizza monster? <laughs> pizza monster? That should be in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing, not a Harley Quinn thing. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fighting pizza monsters. Turtle power. So... Accessory instruction sheet. Well, this is a pizza, not a shovel. She doesn't have a shovel. She doesn't have a squirrel. I'm seriously confused. Um, because she doesn't have any of this stuff. None of these accessories are with this figure. So. She does for some reason have this pizza cape. Guess it's a pizza cape. Is this even supposed to go with this? Did someone like trade stuff? It looks like one has a giant head, like superhero Harley has a bonus giant, like your. Can you soak her head in water and make it big? Is that what it's trying to suggest? Uh, okay. I'm not sure what good her. I'm not really sure exactly what good. Her pigtails pointing out of her spacesuit would do her in real life. Unless this is just showing you the different accessories for every four. So, like, one has a head that can change heads. One has, like, a special mallet. One has, like, a weird raccoon creature. And this one has the space thing. Maybe that's what it's trying to show. Not sure why it has a weird pizza cape. Okay. Maybe there's an alien pizza thing in the universe or something. I have no idea. Someone please explain that. Anyway, let's open it up. Okay, so first up we have arm articulation. Can't, well, can't do that. That's cool. 
She has a star on her boob. She has diamonds here. And she has diamonds on her ass. She has some kind of elbow articulation where it looks like she can get on her knees. Which Harley's probably been a few times. Especially with Mr. J. Oh yeah. Because, you know, she's in love with Mr. J. When people are in love, they procreate. They fornicate. Weren't they married one time? Her and Mr. J? Pretty sure. Plus, isn't Harley, like, partially a lesbo, too? You know? She's just... Man, man, she's, what, bisexual, right? So, she's probably also... Maybe been on her knees for the other reason. The other way. Because she licked it. Or, I don't know. I think there's adult comics that you could actually... That deal with that kind of stuff. So, you could put the black hair. It looks like you could put the black hair in... I'm trying to see if you could... Looks like they designed it where the black hair goes where the red hair is. And the red, red hair goes where the black hair is. But I thought just maybe I just thought that you could do it either way. That it really wouldn't matter. And of course you can take the helmet off and put it on her face because well you know people can't breathe in space but also if they couldn't breathe in space they kind of wouldn't be able to have the hair out of the space module. And it's not really working that good. Um, let me see if I can fix it. Okay, her hair kind of was weird. It kind of... I think you can put it in her head different poses, which is kind of weird. But uh, it just makes her look like she has bunny ears not really pigtails that's my opinion on that um for some reason she has a like blaster gun not sure what good a blaster gun would do in space but again she has a blaster gun which looks like it's supposed to attach she has a weird blaster pop gun. This part attaches in that part. So it really doesn't actually blast. It just pops. Reminiscent of like a Joker type dealio. Because the Joker like to have pop gun. Golly! Uh, phone? Shh. So, you can really shoot anybody, mind you. It's not even a real gun. So, I'm not sure why she has it, but still. It might be able to bounce out and pop someone in the face or something. Can't hold it very good either. So, negative points on that. I mean... You're going to give a person an accessory and then design it where they can't freaking hold the damn thing. Shh. Oh my gosh. That is one thing I really don't like. Plus you give her these stupid bunny ear looking daggum things. And again, see, the accessory doesn't fit her hands. When you give people accessories, make them fit! Make them fit! Shh. Ugh. 
Damn. Golly. Make them fit. They just don't fit. Make them fit where they stay in place. Make them actually fit. Make stuff fit. Oh, jeez. How hard is it to make stuff actually fit? See, it won't fit! Shh. And this stupid ball keeps turning around, which is going to make these hair things fall out. So, it just doesn't work. The accessories that it comes with, none of them fucking work. The hair things don't fit in like the freaking instructions. They just don't fit. They honestly don't fit right. They just don't fit. There's a certain way they're supposed to fit, and they just don't fit. They literally do not fit the way they should fit. They see they, they, they just. But when you put these on, they, they don't fit. Or. The, the figure looks pretty. It's painted pretty good. But none of the accessories fit right. <laughs> none of the accessories literally fit right. I'm still confused about the uh, pizza thing. <laughs> okay, it's a slice of pizza. What is the pizza po point of the pizza? I, 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 I don't get it. What is the point of the pizza? It's weird and all, but why is it in here? What's its point? Was it in a comic book series or a movie or a TV series or something where she had this giant pizza thing in space? What is the point of the pizza? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't understand it. It boggles my mind. I have no idea what the pizza thing is about. Anyway, it's got decent articulation, I suppose. I mean, you can put her hair on, but it kind of looks like it's not designed where you can switch her ponytails one way or the other, which sucks. The uh, ball thing doesn't snap on and fit correctly and also see because this hole right here is too big it needs to be tighter where it's tight on her neck and also the whole idea that her pigtails would be outside of the freaking space bubble is ludicrous it's retarded if you need a space bubble to breathe um, you can't have any holes in it where your hair would be outside of it. Uh, logic, science, common sense, and then the fact that her hands are too big to actually hold her weapon. Look, they got the weapon, they, they got it where she, she can't hold it. It has no way to hold the weapon. Uh, that's stupid. Uh, so... Yeah, my review. This is supposed to be the special designer series, right? Which means it should be better! Better. It should be better quality, right? Because it's a designer series. Designer series equals more money. Costs more. More expensive. Not dissing Amanda Connor. No. Not dissing Miss Amanda Connor. Wonder if she's related to... Uh, The savior of the universe, or the savior of the Earth, uh, Connor, uh, John Connor from Terminator. But anyway, I'm not dissing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally not dissing anything about the artwork. The artwork, great, 100%. Looks beautiful. Not dissing the Amanda Connor's artwork. She did a good job. Artwork, style, it's great. Then again, there's not much to work with when you, all you have is red, black, white, and Harley Quinn. It's looked that way 
basically forever. So you're not much adding to it. I'm just going to throw that out there. Some people might say, wait a minute, that's not right. Well, it is. Uh, the, the stuff that they messed up on, of course, I've already gone through, is the space ball for her face. No. The gun, not fitting. No. Why would you even have a gun in space anyway? I know, yeah, bad guy, but still, no. <laughs> even if it is a silly pop gun. The uh, rocket blasters here, again, no. <sighs> From a scientific astronaut perspective, no. Maybe if you're talking about how they thought astronauts were going to look in Book Rogers Day or whatever, yeah, but no. <sighs> The pizza thing, what the hell does it have to do with space? Again, no, even if it is a weird alien pizza creature thing. Again, no. The, the idea that the freaking hair just can float in outer space and not be killing her. No. Yeah, maybe she has enough makeup on her freaking face that... But no. It's not even... Where's who? Where was the scientific technical advisor when making this thing? Just, just no. Ah, jeez. Not this in the artwork. No, oh. this in the freaking science and the freaking freaking jeez. The whole entire not and the people who not the people who, not the sculpting no the sculpting's not the problem not the articulation no again articulation not the problem um but if you're going to come with accessories make them actually fit like they should fit make them actually mm, make them actually fit and make them scientifically make some logical sense you got to have a place for this gun and to hold this gun when you're not using it, but you also need to make it where it actually fits. So, yeah. And again, when you're in space, you don't need a damn gun. A pop gun wouldn't even work in space anyway. Because you're it's the absence of freaking gravity and all kinds of other stuff. It just wouldn't work. That just, just wouldn't work, okay? The, the whole entire... I know it's comic book logic, but damn, comic book logic is sometimes stupid because it just doesn't work! Doesn't scientifically work, okay? Be scientifically accurate. Anyway, remember God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Now, if they would have just made... The few things that... Uh, the few things they should have made. First of all, one, I like the idea that the hair comes off. That's great. Because it makes more sense for putting this on. If she gets rid of the hair, and this was completely sealed without these stupid other holes in it. Those? These two holes? Which would kill her? Yes. Second of all, this hole should be where it literally clamps down on her neck. It's not doing that. Not clamping down on her neck. And then, if anything, there should be some, like, wires or something. So that the figure, the hair doesn't stay on, that's a problem. But the hair should be designed to come on and off. But it should also be designed to move in every different direction. Not just one direction where it actually fits good. It should be able to be put in the bunny hair formation. Both sides should be able to switch back and forth. Like you have black ponytail and red hair and vice versa. But they also should be able to... This hair should be able to be put in 360. Where any position works. So you could make the hair in any kind of weird way you want. Then, of course, the hair should be taken off when put in this, when she puts the space thing on. Because, again, science. Shh. The pizza thing's weird. Cool. Weird. Cool. 
it's cool, but it's weird. But the idea that this doesn't fold is retarded. It, the, this should it should fold. It should fold into a complete pizza. When you, you know, it should fold into a complete pizza, like a pizza slice, and then fold back down and, you know, transform. Transformers, more than meets the eye, into a pizza. <laughs> and it should have some more articulation to it. There's, like, no legs to this pizza creature. Pizza creature monster thing. There's, there's nothing that, there's... It's just, it doesn't transform. Again, and no gun should be in space. She should have some kind of... Something... Something to make her, like, move. From a scientific perspective, she should have, like, some kind of, like, air gun, maybe. Not a pop gun, like, you know, like, little bursts of airs that shoot out like they actually do actual scientists, actual astronauts do when they're in actual outer space. They have these like little air guns where they shoot a little bit of air because that little bit of air pressure allows them to move through space. And again, she's not even wearing really a spacesuit. None of this resembles an actual spacesuit. This is like her wearing her regular costume, strapping on a Buck Rogers looking rocket pack or a um not rocket man looking rocket pack and carrying and then having this on which does no good if her hair can be out again literally does no good this would not even get her into space it, w it just wouldn't work it w this would wouldn't even get her but maybe into the first atmosphere like layer of what's known as our sky. Maybe she'd be able to do that like in the, like the Rocketeer can. But no. Just, no. Just no. Total total garbage. Total no. 100% uh, total no. Uh-uh, no. Just no. Just, just no. Just no. Just, just no. Too many no's. It's, it's just scientifically inaccurate. It's, it's pissing me off, as you can see. Anyway, remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And I'm just going to resell this figure because, you know. Uh, Jesus loves you. Jesus God. Jesus Lord. Jesus King. Jesus Ruler of everything. Great sculpt. Beautiful artwork piece. Not this and Amanda. Carter. Connor. About to say Samantha Carter from uh, Star Wars One. <laughs> not this, not 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 this. Mm -mm. Not not going to. Not going to this at all. Just no. Again, no. <laughs> Epic fail scientifically. <laughs> not even that great. I mean, articulation is great. If you keep her this way, she looks fine. <laughs> Throw this in the garbage, fine. Uh, have to glue these in, maybe, fine. <laughs> but uh, pizza thing, for some reason, sell that separately for someone who wants a weird pizza figure. <laughs> but this, this is great. I mean. That's great. That's fine. The rest of it is just junk. Garbage. Because it's just in inaccurate. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share. Game on. Collect on. And uh, enjoy on. And subscribe on. And DC on. And if you're a fan of Harley Quinn. I didn't diss Harley Quinn. No, I did not diss Harley Quinn. At all. Not dissing Harley Quinn at all. I didn't diss Amanda Connor at all for her designing of it. Unless, of course, she's the one that didn't follow scientific procedure, then she's an idiot. <laughs> but if she just made it for maybe 
atmospheric like rocket man type deal cool fine i'm good with that if she was just this artist sculptor or whatever great fine i'm good with that too but i'm dissing the scientific inaccuracy of this thing and i'm also dissing the uh that's the main thing i'm dissing it's just the scientific inaccuracy of it figure in itself is great the science behind it not so great the idea that that she'd have a pop gun in space is ludicrous. It's just stupid. The idea that her hair would be able to be in space, even her hair being in atmospheric conditions, it's just stupid. Um, the fact that her hair doesn't stay in and being able to be moved around, I don't like that idea. Um, I'm okay with her having a gun. It's stupid to have a gun, but I'm okay with it. Just make sure that if you come with an accessory of a type of gun, it actually can fit in both hands of the character, the action figure that you create. That's all I'm asking for. And again, when not being held, please give these figures holsters for their weapons. Something, some kind of way to hold them. It would have made more sense to give her like some kind of laser pistol or something. Not this thing. Now, maybe uh, someone, some DC fans, going to let me know that this is from some comic book and it's from a certain issue and she actually has that and it actually looks like that in some kind of comic. I don't care. It's still scientifically inaccurate. There. Anyway, have a great day. I'm just going to go unbox something else. Because, no.